Previously on Dus. Uh, did you see something move up ahead? I saw something Hello everyone, and welcome back to Das. Last time we're following the little white mushroom guy, I think. The cute little white mushroom guy from the last episode, yeah. Now we're back, and we're gonna find out. Maybe we can find out where he came from, and we can hopefully, yes, do stuff. I don't know. <laughs> right, it's been a while since I played this. But it's gonna probably be the same as last time anyways. Right, oh. Oh no, there's the little you know, munchkin. Picking on little ones, huh? You will most definitely regret meeting me. Keep wary of the bubble sprouts, Dust, or this battle will be over before it begins. I think I touched it. Oh. What's going on? Oh, there's another one. Oh, gosh. Oh, so the blue one heals me. Don't go! I saved your ass! You're welcome, kid. Come now, Dust. He's obviously terrified. Let's go find him and maybe get out of this raining death. Let's get our stuff. So red one is bad, blue one is good. I can't tell. It looks like cause it actually healed me. Ooh, a cutscene, maybe. Oh, look at those sheeps. Mud pot. Oh, there's a lot of these little people here. Hello, sheep. I didn't think those monsters were smart enough to build a fence. I'm certain they didn't. Let's hop on over. <gasps> Question. And what animals, what are these to them? Are these animals as well? Are they humans? In their world as well? I can't kill them. So what are they? If we're animals, does that mean to eat other animals? And... The chicken we have is. I don't know. It's just getting kind of cannibalistic now. There he is. Hello. Your father's done gonna have himself a heart attack after he hears about this. I'm sorry, Mama. Good. It's so but cute. Look at the baby. They jump my fence. Crafty vermin, those surface dwellers. She does see that I can fly, right? I'll be sure to tell her, Fidget. I'm sure that'll clear things right up. Back! Back, you beast! I got this ear spoon and I ain't afraid to use it! We aren't here for trouble, ma'am. In fact, we just saved your son. Huh? What are they talking about, Bobo? Um, well, they have been following me for a while. What? How far out did you go? I may just save the spoon for you. The spoon. Uh, I'm sorry, we just came down from the 
surface of... Do I look like some country bumpkin to you? Of course you're from the surface. I think I'd remember seeing a talking, flying weasel cat thing down here. I think we got off on the wrong foot here. My name is Dust, and this is Fidget. Some creatures attacked a village above these caves, and we're trying to figure out why. Attacked a surface village, you say? Well, if that don't beat all, we underground folk tend to keep to ourselves. Got enough problems of our own already. I'm sorry to hear that. Actually, what I'm saying is, we got enough problems of our own without you surface folk bringing all that nonsense down here. So, if you don't mind... Come on, Dust. We're obviously not wanted here. Wait! That's enough, Fopo! You ought to get back to your chores before I take out the spoon again! Sure has to spoon oh, out! I've seen fight! I even got themselves a talking sword! I bet they could help! Young man, I don't care if their sword spouts rainbows and bowls of delicious baked beans. I don't want their help! Stop saying that! How's gonna die if we don't do something? Die? What's going on? Well, our healing wells have gone and run dry. And my pa's done gotten real sick. <clears throat> That's why I went out. To find some more of that water. I hate saying it, but it's true. See these mud pots lying around? Normally they're bubbling to the brim with mineral water. But just a few weeks ago, they dried <clears throat> up to nothing. But that still don't excuse you from putting yourself in danger like that. I may not be able to help your father, but I sure as heck ain't gonna lose you too. Mama. I wonder if those monster attacks on the surface could be related to your wells drying up. I wouldn't be at all surprised. It's been a couple weeks since the water dried up, but every creature here is feeling the effects. I'll bet those creatures broke through to the surface looking for more water. Mama. Maybe these two can go talk to the lady. The lady? Oh, she's a sweet old soul. Lives deep in the caves, makes the waters flow. She doesn't show herself around here too often, and we can't actually go see her on account of all the nasties living between here and there. In that case, I'll go speak with this lady and <clears throat> see why she stops the flow of water. You do that? This can't all just be a coincidence. The attacks on the surface, your wells drying up, I'm certain this lady must know something about what's going on. Well then, I had you folks pegged all wrong. If you aim to help my husband, I promise not to clock you with my wooden spoon of justice. Um, thanks? So, you're heading down to talk to the lady <sighs> now? You'll help my <clears throat> pa? We'll do our best, Bopo. Just don't go running off again. You got my word. Bopo! Such a cute name. You'll save my pa, won't you? Please, Dust. You gotta help him. I had you pegged all wrong, stranger. Please, talk to the lady. Oh! <laughs> I'll just go <laughs> hit by something then. Right, uh. I have a pretty of a tickly throat at the moment, so. <clears throat> Excuse me if I do cough quite a bit. Right, let's improve our HP. Guess we need to get surviving. Is that the. He's sleeping peacefully. Let's leave him alone. Buddy! Okay, let's go. Right, we're gonna speak to the lady. And the lady. Oh, is that a lady? Me? It's a flying cat! Oh. She's not a cat, little girl. She's a... Oh, I don't even know what she yeah, is. Yeah, what is she actually? I'm a bat? A cat, you don't. I'm a nimbat! <clears throat> I bet you. A nimbat. A nimbat? Yes, hello. My name's Fidget. Maybe we've met? Can I hold it? I want it. Just do something! It's trying to grab me with its little child hands! <laughs> Don't worry, Fidget. Sorry, um, uh, what's your name? Smobop. <laughs> well, Smobop, I'm sorry, but as much as she might look like one, Fidget is not a toy. Hey! Ooh, I want her! She talks! I'll trade you. Look, I've got this fox thing. 
Hey, Dust, look. That must be Reed's box. Hmm. Tell you what. Next time I go to the surface, I'll see if I can find a suitable replacement. Then we'll trade. Phew. Good idea, Dust. You know, that shop in Aurora had some things. Maybe the shopkeeper could figure something out for us? Yeah. Maybe he can make us some kind of fidget doll for her. After all, she's far too young to take care of a pet like you. <laughs> yeah, way too much responsibility for... Hey! <laughs> right, guess we'll... That's another quest for another day. What is this place? Red Gate. Don't have anything for that. Break this and get a chicken. Maybe they're not chicken because they come from rocks. Mysterious war chicken. So it's mysterious. Not actual chicken. Because if it's a chicken, then it will be a chicken chicken war. Can't go through that. Old man, tell me what to do. You and your flying mongoose are gonna save her village? What the heck is a mongoose? Quiet fidget. And yes, you've heard correctly. Is this the way to the ladies' <sighs> chamber? <laughs> well, yeah, but I don't think you're gonna fit through this here hole in the wall. We had to close up the passage recently to keep those crazy. You can just crawl under it and attack in the village. What the heck is a nematode? Anyway. Seems to me the only way you're getting through is by sliding. I'd kick you through myself, but you know, I got these fat little legs and they hardly keep me vertical. I appreciate the thoughts, but I'll find another way around. Here, boy, take this red resonance jam. It'll open up the basement and maybe you'll find a better way down there. Just make sure to avoid impaling yourself and then spiking rocks and thorns. Wait, your underground cave has a basement? How does that make any sense? Hey, big fella, what do you say to me serving your flying rat a big old jug of shut up juice? <laughs> While you're down there, why don't you make yourself useful and collect me my hitting stick? Your what? You see, I use this here stick to do my hitting, but I lost her in the basement, and I'm honestly just too gale darn lazy like to go looking for it on my own. They don't have me standing around here for my good looks, after all. <laughs> Someone's got to defend this here hole. All right, Blob. If I should come across your hitting stick, I'll be sure to pick it up. Right. Hitting stick. Interesting. So many people. I want to talk to them more. <laughs> I just want to get on with my story. Oh, this is graveyard. Ah, something shiny. Right, let's just talk. Good evening, young man. I hear the two of you are helping out Pope. Excuse me. Did you lose? Actually, right. These are side quests. I'm just gonna skip all this because it's already 11 minutes in, or 12 minutes in actually. Hello. I stand up. Well, it's been. Like, I'm sorry. He's been so. I could always. Oh. Yeah, they're asking me to get well, stuff. What? I'll figure it out when I get to it. Oh. Okay. Guess I won't be going up there now. <laughs> Let's go. Ow! Okay. That's not good. Ah, shot. Well, maybe it's the one at the top can make me some stuff then. Oof, very windy. There's quite a lot of spikes everywhere.
Ow. Okay, so that's probably what the lady was talking. Oh god. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die from these spike. I'm pretty sure we're gonna get. We need that exploded, exploded, explosive stuff. Where is? Ow. I'm gonna die here. Come on. Oh my gosh, I stepped on the right thing. Right. Right, that's gonna be more difficult than I thought it's gonna be. No. Oh. oh. Why is it so slippery? Cover my health. Ow! Lose all my health. I don't know what that thing's for. I have no idea. <sighs> what is that? A rope? It's a golden head. What is that? Realize I used quite a lot of my HP for no reason now. Hate spikes. Oh, where do I even need to go? Out. Uh, so much wind everywhere. Out. Okay. Slow and steady. I can't jump up there until I get up there. This is a very beautiful place. New ability. Crouch slide. I only learned how to do that now. Are you serious? Slide. You don't need, you need to learn how to do that. Anyone can just... Oh, do that. That's bad now. I just have to do it again. <laughs> Come on. Come on. 
much. Oh, actually. Aha! Right. Did I just get some new items? That's not good. I guess my attack higher, I'll wear that. Nope. Nope. Uh, nope. I don't know. I need more food. At the rate I'm dying at the moment. Oh! I'm alright. I'm alright. Right. right. <laughs> Let's go back. Don't miss the jump. <gasps> okay. Now we have this new incredible ability of sliding. We can do everything and anything at any will we can do. The reason why we went through there is because we can get the sliding thing and we can go back to where the old man is. Oh man, I need to get that. Right. I'll do it again. Only because I feel like it. Because I want to get a shiny head thing. Plunky. Uh, that's why there's so many ropes. That makes sense now. Spelunky is a roguelike game where where you explore mines and stuff. Ow! I think I would have just we've got hit by that other thing instead of that. Ow! Maybe not. Poison lasts forever, right? Um, might as well make use of those. Hmm, pretzels heals quite a lot. We don't have the ability to climb up walls yet, which is kind of strange. This is so dangerous. I don't think I'll ever find out what that's for then. Hitting stick. Fidget, look. <laughs> She's all the way to the back. She can't follow me. Ooh. Actually, shop please. Need food. Need more food. 
Cinnamon buns. All these now. I might as well get these because they're better. Hopefully. I'll get these. Get five. Because, you know, I'm very chubby. Right. I'm going to go back there again, hopefully. Mud pot. Right, I think I'll end it here to start now, and I will see you next time for the next episode. Remember, don't just eat your eggs, suck them, because you get more protein. I will see you next time. Bye!